Hello. Today in this session we are going to see one new trick by which you can calculate HCF of the numbers in just few seconds. So it's very helpful for competitive examinations and also for school and uh, college going students. So we'll see the trick that how we can calculate the HCF of the numbers. For example, uh, you want to find out the HCF of 12 and 16. So what you have to do here is you have to find out the difference between the two numbers that are given. For example, 12 and 16. The difference between 12 and 16 is 4. Now, what you have to check is whether the difference that we are getting is the divisor of the numbers. Now, 4 is the divisor of 12 and 4 is also the divisor of 16. So, it is the divisor of both the numbers. So, the NCF will be nothing but 4. Now, we will see the next one. Uh, 18 and 22. Again, the difference between uh, 18 and 22 is 4. So, we are getting the difference as 4. Now, whether 4 is a divisor of 18 and 22? No, 4 is not the divisor of 18. It is also not the divisor of 22. So, what you have to do here is now, you have to find out the factors of 4. So, 4 factor that is nothing but 2 into 2 into 1. So, now, we will see whether the factors are the divisor of this two numbers, the factors are 2. So, 2 is the divisor of 18 and 2 is also the divisor of 22. So, the 2 will be the HCF. So, the HCF is 2. Now, we will see the next one, 4, 16 and 22. Now, we have a three numbers. Now, again you have to take the difference, but you have to take the least difference. So, for example, the difference between 4 and 16 is 12. And difference between uh, 6 and 22 is 6 and uh, 4 and 20 is 18. So we have to take the least difference. So the least difference is between 16 and 22 that is 6. Now the difference we have got is 6. We have to check whether this difference is the divisor of all these numbers. So 6 is not the divisor of 16, uh, 4, 16 and 22. So then what we have to do? You have to find out the factors of 6 that is 3 into 2 into 1. So now <coughs> 3. So whether 3 is a divisor of 4, 16, 22? No, it's not the divisor of 4, 16 and 22. Now the next factor is 2. Now 2 is the divisor of uh, 4. It is also the divisor of 16. It is also the divisor of 22. So the HCF of this 4, 16 and 22 will be 2. Now we will see the next one. Again, we have here 4 numbers. So, we have to see the least difference between these 4 numbers. So, the difference between these 2 is 5, between these 2 is 10, between these 2 is 15 and if you see this, uh, that will be 30. So, here the least difference is nothing but 5. Between all these numbers, the least difference is nothing but 5. Now, we got the difference as 5. Now, we have to check whether the 5 is the divisor of all these numbers. So, in this case, 5 is the divisor of all this number. 5 is the divisor of 15, 20, 30 and 45. So, the HCF will be nothing but 5. So, in this case, the HCF is 5. Now, we will see the next example that is 45, 60 and 75. Again, the least difference between these numbers in this, uh, between these two is 15, between these two is also 15 and between these two is 30. So, the least difference here is 15 is the 15. Now, whether the 15 is the divisor of 45, 60 and 75? Yes, 15 is divisor of all these numbers. So, the HCF will be nothing but 15. Now, we will see the next one. 17, 21, 25 and 27. So, here the least difference if we find out. So, the least difference will be nothing but between 25 and 27. That is 2. The least difference here is 2. Now, whether 2 is the divisor of 17, 21, 25, 27? No. So, it's not a divisor of uh, either of these numbers. So, what will be the factor of 2? That will be nothing but 2 into 1. So, 2 is not the divisor either of these numbers. So, the remaining uh, factor is nothing but 1. So, 1 is the divisor of all this. So, the HCF will be nothing but 1. So, uh, if you are not getting any uh, number as a uh, divisor of all these numbers, so the remaining number is nothing but 1. So, in this case, the HCF will be 1. So, this is how we can find out the HCF of any numbers. 
So what you have to do here is you have to find out the least difference between the given numbers and you have to find out whether the least difference is the divisor of all the numbers. If it is not the divisor then find the factors of that number and which of the uh, <coughs> number of that factors is the divisor. So that will be the HCF of that numbers. So this is how we can calculate HCF in just few seconds. Hope it will be helpful for you. Thank you.